youth sports, undoubtedly one of the fastest growing programs to date. Soccer, football, baseball, basketball, and volleyball are all examples of youth sports that are growing rapidly in our area and across the country. But why are youth sports so important for children at such a young age? We'll be going over that and much more as we talk about as we talk about the long-term benefits, the physical impacts, and the academic benefits that come with it. Though opponents suggest starting kids at a young age could be detrimental to children's mental health, that cannot be further from the truth. When a child is, when a child is a part of a team, it not only teaches them compassion, but also how to work as a team. Jumping into our first point, let's go over the long-term benefits. Not only do kids make new friends, but they are able to make those relationships before ever stepping foot into a classroom setting. According to kidshealth.org, playing in a local league can also help build relationships with people in town. They are able to use these relationships as they grow up through their elementary, middle school, and high school years. And some of those volunteers that help on their little league teams turn into trusted adults who they can go to as role models. Going into our next point, let's go over the physical, physical benefits. According to familyymca.org, lower body fat, stronger muscles and bones, and healthier cardiovascular systems all can contribute, are, are among a long list of physical impacts that youth sports have on children. Youth sports also creates a foundation for a healthier lifestyle. When you think of a student athlete, you probably don't think of a five-year-old running around on a gym court. What you do think of is a high school or college athlete playing a sport while also maintaining, while also trying to maintain an education or degree of some type. Whether it's their first year playing or they've played the sport their whole lives, all athletes can undoubtedly say that they have learned valuable life skills that they can take with them in their for the rest of their lives and in the rest of their careers. So if it's teaching young adults all of this information that they can take with them for the rest of their lives, just imagine all the information that kids are able to learn. They would be ahead physically and mentally from a large, from a large portion of the rest of the country. Moving on to our third and final point, the academic benefits. According to aspenprojectplay.org, sports activity helps children develop and improve cognitive skills. According to a study that tracked kids from kindergarten, <clears throat> from kindergarten through fourth grade, physical activity in general is associated with improved academic achievement, including grades and standardized test scores. Along with standardized test scores being um, a lot higher, Concentration, attention, and classroom behavior are all other benefits that come with youth sports. A high school, in a survey done with high school athletes, 73% were more likely to finish their college education with a degree compared to non-athletes, which was at 67%. Those benefits extend into the workplace also. In another survey done, 400. In another survey done, 400 corporate executives were surveyed, and out of the 400, 94% of them played a sport. Now that we've talked about the academic benefits, let's do a quick recap. Today, we went over the long-term benefits, the physical impacts, and the academic benefits. Now, I don't know about you but everyone has a right to their own way of parenting, and that's 100% okay. But when I have a kid, I know that as soon as they're able to talk, they're also gonna have to tie up those laces because I can't be driving my soccer mom car for no reason. <laughs>